All right, so the last step now in getting all of the spread, the grade sheets and their master grade book all set up and linked is now you need to go through and manually link them. So while you're able to use AutoCAD to automatically create all these spreadsheets, you do now have a manual task of going through and connecting them. If there's another way around it, I would love to figure it out, but for now, I have to do it manually. So when you get, so I've got my original sheet. So this is one that was made for the student, Alex M. And so it automatically filled in. This was his class. Here's his name. And it automatically said his data is in row three. Um, so now I need to make sure it links to my master grade book. One thing I like to do just kind of as to help me out, and I'll just do it for a chunk here, is in one of the random early assignments, I like to just temporarily paste all the student names in there. So that way I know when I'm linking it over to make sure that I have the right data and the right information. Because otherwise if it says the wrong name, then I know that it's not the right place. So row three should have everything about Alex. Okay, so first thing when I get onto the student spreadsheet, it says equal all these say pound error reference. So you need to allow access. So you have to click on that blue button, say allow access, wait, 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 uh-huh. And it fills it in, it filled in the assignments automatically and it filled in the scores, but it says Ariana. We do not want Ariana, we want Alex. So now I need to click on that cell right above it, C4. So what I have to do manually is I need to go into this formula row and I need to change it instead of D3 I, or D6, I wanted to say D3 and AH3. Then hit enter and now it should say Alex. All right. And the same thing on this one. So you need to know all the different places to do it. So actually here, A3 and once again, okay, good idea then to, to make sure that on your master grade book, so I've got all those names on my feedback tab, why don't I also just put those names there too? So now I can verify and it says Alex once again. All right, good. So that's linked to Alex. If you have multiple pages, like I also have their journals, same thing. I have to go through. This is currently showing me Ariana's data. I need to go through and say, nope, give me D3 and D3 and enter. And now it'll show me the right student's information. So I can do that over here. Just test that out. Make sure that should come up and say Alex. So when you are ready to start making these for the students, it's already shared automatically with the student. That's part of the audit crap process. But you do have to go and manually, before you start using this as a grade book, make sure that everything is linked to that student. And I put that number up there. I don't ever tell the students what that number means, but that number is my personal reference. So I know what row they're in and yes technically they could change their row and put something else there but they how would they know what student that is so i'm the only one who has that answer key as to who is in row three so row three is all of alex's data so i would leave it there maybe even for the first time and make them practice opening it up and going hey make sure that says your name if it doesn't that's a double check that there's a problem but once you get that set up and then as you start going and giving them grades so i go and give him proficient then over here on progress wondering it shows up as proficient uh -huh. Oh, and I forgot to mention before, I did already set up conditional formatting. So this was all set up ahead of time so that when I have my color proficient turns green, same thing happens on the student sheet. So you can set up all of those codes ahead of time before you do that whole format. All right. So good luck. Please let me know if you have any questions. And that is how you can set up an awesome grade book in Google and have it link to student spreadsheets.